Hello students. Hope you all are fine and keeping up with your studies nowadays. Today we are going to start with the fifth chapter of your this year's PT syllabus that is healthy environment. This chapter contains all the following topics. An introduction, different kinds of pollution like air pollution and water pollution and at last addiction and their evil effects. Last year, we learned that pollution means impurity or deterioration in anything. Any type of pollution is dangerous and it may cause death. Water and air are very essential elements for sustaining life. So, water and air pollution is harmful to our health and may even cause death. First of all, we will start with air pollution. Air gets polluted in following ways. Some kinds of particles are found in the air which make air polluted. Such particles are dirt, dust, dry grass and leaves make, make the air polluted and unhygienic. In the air, there are chemicals like sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, salts of iodine. They cause air pollution. Bacteria and germs also cause air pollution. Decomposition of biosubstances cause foul smell and spreads gases like methane which causes air pollution. Polluted air passes through respiratory organs and reaches the lungs. We feel a burning sensation in the nose and throat. So we suffer from cough and other diseases. Mine workers also suffer from lung diseases. Air particles flowing in the air cause fog and dim atmosphere. The poor visibility results in serious road accidents. Air particles cause irritation in our eyes. So they are harmful to our eyes. Dust particles harm our eyes when it is windy. The number of vehicles has increased they emit harmful gases and smoke. So the air gets polluted. We find the presence of poisonous gases such as carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide in the polluted air. They are harmful to our respiratory system. There are 29% of all deaths and diseases from lung cancer. 17% of all deaths and diseases from acute lower respiratory infection, 24% of all deaths from stroke, 25% of all deaths and disease from isometric heart disease. Water pollution occurs when harmful substances, often chemicals or microorganisms, contaminate a stream, river, lake, ocean, aquifer, or other water body of water. Degrading water quality and rendering its toxic to humans or the environment. The main water pollutants include bacteria, viruses, parasites, fertilizers, pesticides, pharmaceutical products, nitrates, phosphates, plastics, facial waste, and even radioactive substances. These substances do not always change the color of the water, meaning they are often invisible polluted. Some of these waterborne diseases are typhoid, cholera, paratyphoid fever, fever, dysentery, jaundice, amoebiasis, and malaria. Chemicals in the water also have negative effects on our health. Pesticides can damage the nervous system and can cause cancer because of the carbonates and organophosphates that they contain. The five ways to prevent water pollution are Pick up the litter and throw it away in a garbage can. Blow or sweep fertilizer back onto the grass if it gets onto paved areas. Mulch or compost grass or yard waste. Wash your car or outdoor equipments where it can flow to gravel or grassed area instead of street. Do not pour your motor oil down the storm drain. Last year, 
we learned about some medicinal plants near our residence. Now, we shall learn in details about the herbal plants available near our residence. Let us start with the first one, that is Tinospora. Tinospora is an evergreen creeper available all around the year. It can easily be identified as it is available all around us. It climbs around a nearby tree. It is found on the neem tree during monsoon. It has a nice green color and small beautiful flowers in spring and monsoon. As it is evergreen, it is also known as Amruta in Sanskrit. The leaves look like people leaves. There are grooves near the nipple or, or the base. The leaves are heart shaped, soft and light green. Their taste is bitter. If we crush them, they are found sticky. They fall off in winter. They provide energy. The next one is hogweed or satori. Satori is a type of creeper found everywhere. It grows in the sandy soil, in the waste and in humid ground. It is an evergreen creeper. Its stem is red or white in color. Its leaves grow opposite to each other. The surface of the leaves is white. The satori flower is bell shaped. The main branch, of, branch is seen in the middle of leaves very clearly. Its flower is small and pink. They grow in bunches and are close to one another. Satori is a good diuretic and it increases formation and flow of urine. So, it is highly effective and useful in kidney diseases. It is also useful in the treatment of swelling in any part of the body. It, it is also useful in eye disorders and heart troubles. The third one is aloes. Aloes is a well-known herbal plant. It grows everywhere and is easily available. It can be grown even in a pot on the terrace. Its leaves are thick, juicy, green and heavy and one leaf grows from other. The edges of the leaves have got thorns like a saw. The leaves are transparent with sticky juice. This juice is used as medicine. Herbal, her herbal plant has a height of about 80 to 90 centimeters. It gets light green colored flowers having a sweet taste. If we crush the leaves, we get a strong smell and a sticky juice. The kumar purifies the air. Its leaves keep flies and mosquitoes away. It is used for that purpose in many homes. Its leaves is also known as labaru. Pickle is prepared from its leaves. Its flowers are known as shalada. The next one is garmalo or puddling pipe tree. It grows and is easily found near our house, in the garden or by the roadside. It has yellow attractive flowers. Its plant has a height of 6 to 7.5 meters. Its golden yellow flowers are found hanging in the bunches. So it is also popularly called as Swarna Vruksha. It blooms in hot summer. It has long drumstick like pods which are called pudding pipe sticks. They are half meter long. We get black sticky juice from its ripe sticks. It is known as jaggery of Garmalo. This jaggery has a, is a mild purgative. It is used as medicine to get relief from constipation, particularly for children. It provides relief from chronic constipation. Garmalo is useful in treatment of fever, heart diseases and for purification of blood, chronic constipation and itching. The next one is Acacia or Bubble Tree. We find Bubble Tree farms on the outskirts of the village. It is a tall tree with yellow flowers. Bubble fruits are known as Parda, which are long and flat with unevenly pressed surface. It has got thorns. The bubble tree can be identified easily because of its thorns. Its leaves are green. 
Green sticks of babul are used as toothbrush. Its juice is bitter in taste and is very effective in cleaning bacteria. It strengthens the gums. The gum obtained from the babul tree is very good for our health as it provides energy. The leaves, skin, fruit, wood, gum, etc. obtained from the babul tree are all very useful to us. At last, we will discuss about the addictions and their evil effects. Many people get addicted to various harmful things and it is very difficult for them to get rid of these addictions. At first, any addiction is found tempting but later on it proves to be harmful to our health. Let us discuss about the first addiction that is smoking. BD, cigarette, pipe and cigar are all regarded as addictions of tobacco smoking. Smoking is, a harmful, smoking is harmful to respiratory system, especially to our lungs. It is harmful to lips, tongues, cheek, palate, throat, trachea and lungs. The smoke of tobacco contains poisonous elements. Hence, smoking is harmful not only to us but also to other people present around the smokers. Later on, it may result into a fatal disease like cancer. Smoking is one of the main factors which invite heart diseases. The smoke of tobacco affects our arteries and as a result of which we suffer from gangrene and infertility. The next is Pan Masala. We take nutritive food for good health. We prefer to eat food prepared from wheat, rice, ghee, milk, vegetables, etc. While tobacco addicts like smoke but these habits cause disease and make them physically disabled. Like smoking, tobacco chewing also affects portion adversely. It harms the mouth, lungs, as well as arteries. Smoking, tobacco chewing, and sniffing are harmful to our health because such addictions cause many serious diseases. They spoil our health and waste the wealth of the country. The last one is liquor or wine or alcohol. Liquor affects our brain cells directly. The addiction of liquor, history of human evolution. Man has acquired a unique mental ability or power of intelligence. But when we take liquor, it affects our brain. We lose control over the movements of the body. So man turns into an animal under the intoxicating effect of liquor. It affects his social status. His behavior becomes socially and unacceptable. It affects his decision making adversely. Tribes often meet with road, tribes often meet with road accidents because of lack of control over the brain. Accidents take place even on good broad roads if one drives after taking liquor. In the beginning, man drinks to feel better or forget his worries. But gradually, he becomes a regular drunkard or an addict. Drinking of liquor harms the liver as well as the brain cells. Various liver-related diseases may cause death. It also invites diseases like jaundice, ascites, etc. With this slide, we come to the end of this chapter. Thank you. Stay safe and keep learning.